Yo, I had a message to uh, just show you how to bulk load these new cartridges that we got. Uh, they're pretty simple, just like most bulk loading cartridges. They are metal. They do come apart, so the, the tops, the both the caps will pop off, um, uh, which is cool because really all we have in the market right now are the plastic ones, which are fine. Um, there's nothing wrong with the, the bulk loadable plastic ones. I think some people have issues with the felt. Um, I'm not sure. I haven't used them for a really long time. But anyway, this has got this, it's kind of unique because it's got this little piece of plastic hanging out of it. And if you've ever like loaded a, a spent cartridge, um, it's, it's a lot like this. So when you get uh, the spent cartridge, which someone shot this, and then uh, a lab with a, probably a Noritsu, like a mini lab or Fuji mini lab or something, they process this, they retrieve the leader, and then the machine actually cuts that off, and then this cartridge is what, what's left. So you can buy these on eBay um, relatively cheap. Um, but anyway, we've been using those for a while. So now that we've got these in stock, um, so I'm going to just ask, how do you load it? So uh, like I said, they come apart. There's really no need to take it apart because it's got this little plastic on there. Uh, this is our 400-foot loader, which will be available here fairly soon. Um, this is uh, like the most recent prototype. Uh, we're really close and then they'll be off uh, getting manufactured. But this is a like standard bulk loader. You have your film is light tight inside here. Um, you're just gonna have a little bit of it sticking out of the light trap. And then how we do this um, and how most people bulk load is you will fix a piece of tape to if this was a spent cartridge, you would fix it to the uh, the film that was still left uh, hanging out of here. But since this has got that little tab, you kind of treat it the same way. Uh, you're going to tape that onto your film and your bulk loader. And I just get enough film to go around, uh, but not double up. Like if you, if you bring this all the way around here and just from processing thousands of rolls uh, in the lab that I have to cut it, which isn't that big of a deal, but it, it puts a lot of stress on the felt when it goes into the cartridge. So you wanna stay away from like really like getting like either like thick, uh, people use gaff tape and it just rips up the felt and you want this felt to last because you want this cartridge to last. So uh, anyway, once that's taped on there, you just kind of start the film on its journey inside of it. And then you're going to, this is 30 revolutions uh, for 36 frames. One, There's 36 frames loaded into this cartridge now. And I'll just kind of show you how we finish this up. But I'll also just uh, note on the bulk loader, like we've kind of improved this light trap um, with, you know, giving it a little bit more uh, light trap here. So this piece is uh, kind of folds all the way over it and it's got a nice little thing of uh, foam in there that's laser cut and then also um, if you guys have used any like the Lloyd's loaders or something like that uh, there's issue with like the door like maybe popping open if the cartridge shifts around um, so we put a clasp on there so it's shut until you're done you know loading it which is pretty great um, so yeah that's your 36 frames this is vision 2 this is some like old expired stuff um, that I'm shooting and loving right now. And uh, I do, I, I try and mimic like what you would get out of a, a pro cartridge, uh, you know, something from Kodak or Ilford or something like that. And uh, so that's how you would get film from us. Um, but yeah, that's, it's pretty simple, nothing to it. So uh, the, the beauty of the cartridges, and we're also gonna be selling the tape, uh, this particular tape, um, is that you can, if you have a 400 foot loader, you can buy 400 feet of film, which is the, the smallest uh, length of film that you can buy from Kodak in motion picture anyway. Uh, you can load 100 feet in here if you're doing black and white or if you can find some expired portrait or something. They don't do that stuff anymore. Uh, put those in 100 foot lengths anymore. But uh, so you can buy 400 feet. You can buy these cartridges and then I just throw this thing. I mean, I, I go through this so fast, it doesn't matter, but um, I do because this is my personal one and this is kind of my personal stock that I've been shooting. I throw this into my refrigerator and just you know leave it down in the drawer. And then when I'm ready to load some, I'll load them up. Um, but that way I don't have to load you know a whole bunch of them at once. 
so yeah, the, between these three things, um, you know, and a pair of scissors you can buy at Walmart, uh, you're, you're ready to go. Um, man, shout out to Walmart. Sorry about that. Um, you can, you can go shoot. I mean, this is like 72 to 75 rolls of film, uh, 36 frames. So that's pretty good for, I don't know, 315 bucks or whatever the going rate is for uh, 400 feet of film. Um, also, we've got some DX codes that we're going to be bringing in. Um, so we'll have all ASAs in like mid February, uh, and yeah, so th these just stick onto the stick onto your cartridge uh, in the proper spot. And then if you have a point and shoot or like, uh, I know I've, I've heard, I don't have a contacts, but I've heard that the contacts uh, that are like a trillion dollars now, they don't, uh, you can't set the ISO on that. So you need a DX code. So those will be really nice um, moving forward as we continue to load film. Um, but yeah, so these are available on the site. They're uh, 10 for 20 bucks. Uh, plus some shipping and I mean that should last you as as long as you take care of them and you don't lose them they'll last you a really long time so yeah go grab you some